Hi everybody, for today's tutorial we are going to be doing an all scissor men's classic haircut with a part. First, examine your client's hair. Consult with them about the length. You can gauge on how short they would like to go by referring to the ears. Would you like it above the ear, in the middle of the ear, below the ear? Or would you like it to the chin, above the chin, to the shoulders? The bangs, would you like it to the eyebrows, longer than the eyebrows, to the nose? After a thorough consultation, please shampoo your client to bring the hair back to its original state. Then comb the hair back and we're going to find the natural part. Towel dry really well so you don't waste too much time blow drying it out later. Always check the part on both sides. See which one looks better from the front and in the back. We are going to be parting his hair to the left. Please check your part from the front as well as in the back to see what it looks like if it's straight. And now we're going to be separating the top section of the hair from the bottom section and start cutting. You want to separate just above the temple and just as the head starts rounding. I use the halo section for all my scissor haircut sectioning. So we're going to start at the ear, so since we are going to go above the ear, we can show the client the length and have them be able to decide whether they want it shorter or longer before we do the whole haircut. So do the ear section, show your client, see if they're happy with it and if they are, continue cutting. You want to create a box shape that goes around the head so your fingers and your scissors should emulate that shape. Square straight out from the head, you're combing the hair out, making sure you're not over directing too much in either direction. All the lines should be very straight. This will make your haircuts much more consistent and growing out nicely and you will not have to do a lot of touching up after your haircut has been dried. If you focus on clean sections, clean cutting lines, visualizing a clean shape, This will make your shapes much more apparent and your haircuts more consistent. If this was a long man's hair, I would have started this haircut in the back, which I will be showing you in the next tutorial of a long man's haircut. But since we were going above the ear, I think it's better to start at the ear just so you know exactly how much length you are taking. Often what it's looking like. So when I comb the hair down now, it shows me that it's about an inch and a half 
longer than the ear. So that is how much I'm taking off. So again, comb the hair straight out of the head. Holding your hands as if creating a box around the head and cutting. The perimeter, I'm softly trimming. I will trim that later on with a long clipper or with thinning scissors. So don't worry too much about this area. The most important area of this haircut is the area at the section that's closer to the top of the hair that we haven't cut yet. That whole area has to be consistent and uneven. Now we're going to cross check. So since we cut vertically, we're going to cross check horizontally. This shape right now, when I'm coming it straight out, should be square. Everything should be even. So it doesn't matter where you pick it up from, straight out from the head, it should be a straight line. If it is not, please correct it before you let the top down to connect it. You can use this technique on any scissor haircut, even when you're doing clippers on the side and scissors on top, you can use this technique. Just don't use this on long hair, because for long hair we're going to start cutting at the back. Okay, so now let the hair down, keeping the part in, and start cutting from the front or from the back doesn't really matter as long as you're going straight out from the head and using the bottom as your guide creating the square shape with your fingers and your hands and your scissors and your comb and you'll create the right shape the reason why you want to create a square shape because we are working on a round shape. A head is a round shape. You want to create a shape on top of that shape. Square shapes are very manly and very masculine. And also from a square shape you can create a more rounder shape or a triangular shape if you'd like to. A very important part is the cowlick part in the back. Make sure you comb it straight out and connect it to the bottom of the hair and not any shorter. Once you're done with the sides, you're going to cut the top of the head. Make sure all the hair that you're combing is you're coming straight out of the head using clean sections When you're cutting the bang, over direct a little bit to maintain some of the length.
Now pick up the hair up on the side part of the haircut. And connect from the shortest to the longest. You can cut this section a little bit at an angle, maintaining the length at the part. But at the end of the haircut, we will connect the two sides and the way we connect it will depend on the hair texture and the type of hair we're working with. Very stubborn hair, we will connect less and very soft hair and easy hair to manipulate, we will connect more. Now dry the hair fully as it is worn. Make sure you're keeping the part perfect the whole time you're drying it. Drying the front back since it's going to be worn a little bit back. Don't dry it down because once you dry it down it will not want to go back. Dry the two parts separately. Now as you can see we're going to be connecting the two sides a little bit together so you pick the two parts at the part and over direct from the longer side to the shorter side and connect the hair is still going to be slightly disconnected since we're over directing but after we dry it we can thin it out more and connect it farther I stopped drying because I wanted to check the part and check how the haircut is looking if you see something needs to be changed before you dry it completely do it because if you want to change that after you dry it you will have to re-wet the hair as you can see i'm drying it to the direction the hair parts and down on the shorter side After we dry it, we're going to texturize the haircut and blend it with blending shears, thinning shears, and point cutting. Now I'm going to start blending the shape a little bit more with the thinning scissors. The haircut has been cut bluntly, so none of the hair is texturized and it's very heavy at the end so what we're doing is just softening the shape by thinning out each section with the thinning scissors maybe and don't forget to go over the whole shape the same way you cut the haircut in the same sectionings the same elevation just so you go over the whole shape you can do it vertically or you can do it horizontally, whichever way works better for the section. This is a really important step to do for the haircut to grow out nicely and not to get heavy and thick fast. If you don't do this step, your haircut will get heavy after one week and people won't come back to you. If you do this step correctly, your haircut can grow out for a year and still have a shape and still have movement and consistency throughout the haircut. Always blow dry the loose hair off your haircut so you can see the shape clearly.
Now I'm going to refine the perimeter of the haircut with a longer clipper. I'm using the Aster 76 number 7 or 8 you can start with. To trim a little bit around the hairline, making the shape a little bit more tapered and refined. You can do this part with scissors, but I found with clippers it is faster and you can get a little bit shorter. And that is the hair that grows out the fastest, is the back of the neck. Now I'm picking up the hair that is longer on the neck and trimming underneath it. So the, le the hair, the longer hair can lay down nicely. As you can see he has hair growing into a point in the back so you can pick up the longer hair and cut that point off so the rest of the hair can lay smoothly. We are developing a very natural hairline. There is no hard lines around the hairline or around the perimeter of the haircut so the haircut can grow out nicely without any hard lines throughout it. Now I'm just refining the shape, checking it vertically and horizontally, seeing if everything is adding up. Everything should connect. Try to get into the habit of combing the hair out 90 degrees out of the head, straight out on the sides and on top of the head. The final steps of this haircut will be picking the hair straight up and seeing how everything's adding up and combing it down. Right now, it's a very important step, combing the hair forward towards the face and trimming the ends connecting it to the sides and if I see I need to take off half an inch I basically pick up the hair directing it, over directing it to the side or to the other side or straight up I don't like to cut the bang straight down in front of the eyes because then you might create too much of a blunt shape or may cut that area too short. You can use the slicing technique for the bangs or picking it straight up and point cutting. Now as you can see the back of the hair is longer than the front. And the ideal haircut should be longer in the front and a little bit shorter in the back or even. So this is a good way to check what is your haircut doing internally and refine it. So just remember the front of the hair, if you pick it straight up, should be the same length as the back or the everything behind it should be a little bit shorter. That this area on the back of the head gets very heavy fast, weighing down the front of the head. So thinning out that area, point cutting it, getting rid of the bulk will be very beneficial to your hairstyle. I'm connecting the top of the hair from the shortest piece on the edges to the longest. Please be aware not to cut the corners off when you pick up the hair straight up on top of the head. The corners are the shortest pieces on each side, so you don't want to touch them at all. 
you're connecting from the shortest to the other shortest, getting rid of the longest piece in the middle, on the top of the head. Keep checking your shape in the mirror and visually from the front, from the side, from the back. It's not about just blending the hair that looks that needs to be blended. It's about having a vision of what the shape you're trying to create looks like. So please look at pictures in magazines of shapes of the hair that the hair creates on top of the heads. Please look at people on the street for reference. Please look at runway shows. Your friends' haircuts, what you would do differently for those shapes. That is very important to train your eye to be sensitive to shapes. If you don't know what shape you are creating, you will not create the correct shape. As you can see, I'm spending a lot of time refining my haircut. This is where the real haircut starts. After you create the shape while it's wet, dry it, and now you are refining your haircut, individualizing it to the individual person that you're cutting, thinning it out as necessary if the hair is very thick and dense, leaving the weight when it is thin. Just remember for most haircuts, you want to have a balance. Everything should be pretty uniform and connected. Unless you are doing undercuts or creative haircuts. For classic, what you should remember is everything should be uniform and no hair should be much longer than other hair and you should always try to create the square shape a lot of heads have imperfections little dips in the head and once you cut that hair in those spots too short your head shape will be difficult to create after that. So you will spend a lot of time camouflaging your mistake. Once you establish your technique and you know how to create the correct shape in your haircut, your clients would appreciate the styles you've given them and will be excited about the hair that is growing out still creating a flattering shape for them at this point I will clean off the neck with the clipper or with a straight razor whatever that your style is making sure you're not going into the hairline anymore everything is separated from the hairline with the small buzzer and now we're going to finish off our style with the hot towel and a slight massage. For this style I chose a matte pomade for the hair. Please make sure to always clean up your client from any loose hairs. Use talcum powder that will help you do that. Don't let your client leave with hair on their shirt. Please make sure you blow dry their whole outfit and their face. For this style, I'm using the construction cream, which is a matte pomade from Evo, and raking it into the hair. I like to start with the back and sides first and finish it off on top so you're not putting the big glob of product on the front of the hair making it very sticky and overdone with the product after you've added the product 
sometimes you may have to refine the hair a little bit more you see places that are still thick don't be afraid to go in with the scissors and use the slicing technique or thinning it out or whatever it needs to be done to perfect your shape so the client can emulate the shape at home don't forget to clean off the ears trim them if there's hair on ears and at this point we're going to do a beard trim Hi Dolce. Okay, now we're going to do the beard trim. For the beard trim, I'm going to take down his beard to about three, three and a half. We're going to keep the beard trim very natural as well. No hard lines, smooth transitions, just trimming the whole beard with one length. Yeah, make sure you cut the hair and hold the clippers in all different directions. Hair tends to grow in different directions on the beard. Make sure you fade the beard into the hair. So since we did a scissor haircut on the hair, I will use a six size clipper and five, four, down to a three, since the beard we are doing a three on.
Underneath, I'm going to develop the outline of the beard with the number one and then fade it into the three to leave a natural transition. This kind of style will grow out nicer and there won't be a hard line the next day or the new hair is growing in. So it will last longer and it's just a softer look for the individual. After you're done trimming the hair, rub a small amount of main beard oil into your hands and rub it onto the beard. And finish off with a hot towel on the face. Or you can do the hot towel first and the beard oil after. The beard oil contains a lot of essential oils to soften the beard and to moisturize the face under the beard.
And there you are, classic men's haircut with a beard trim, all natural hairlines. Hope you enjoyed this video, my next tutorial will be a long men's haircut. Thanks for watching and come visit me at Main Team or Harare in Brooklyn or Manhattan, Miss Village. And see you there. Thank you.